So our school received the brand new Lottie Bot from TTS and Lottie Bot is a brand new addition to the TTS Bot family. It's got programmable movement, it's got accurate drawing capabilities and a whole host of other features that can help you teach the computer curriculum. And again, I got my experts. The terrific testing squad to take a closer look. Here's what happened. So I said, right guys, open the box, see what you think the robot can do. And I said, after about 30 seconds, I said, you can't just stare at it, get it out of the box, press some buttons, have a play, see what happens. So that's what they did. They got their hands right in there. They took the robot out. Um, this is Ozzy here. He looked underneath and he thought he can turn it on and he did, he managed to turn it on. Switched it on. They found the cable, found the instructions, had a look at the box and had a little chat about what they think the robot can do. Then they noticed it was turning on Then they placed it on the table. And then they said, well, Mr. Hunt, how do you control it? So then I explained that you control the robot through the app and through Bluetooth. So they connected LottieBot to my iPad. Dead easy to connect. You just open the app and it will find the LottieBot. So they connected here and they said, right now you control through the iPad through block code. Now there's two levels. I said, let's start level one first. Um, so, and then once we've got our heads around level one, then we can go to level two. So they had a play for a few minutes with level one. Um, they had a little play, they messed with the code. They uh, explained that there's also a hole at the top that that's this is how it can draw. So we put the pen in the top here. When we move LottieBot around, you can make shapes and draw certain things. And they said, oh, they were really interested. And right, let's have a go, Mr. Hunt. Let's put this pen right in. So I said, well, let's not damage these tables. Let's get a paper, piece of paper first. I don't want to get in trouble off the caretaker or our head teacher. So let's get some paper first and see what happens. And then she said, right, just have a play. Play with the code. See what you can do and see what happens. Then I'd say after about 10 minutes of playing with the code, they were pretty much masters of it. They were telling me things that LottieBot can do, which I was I didn't know that it could do. Um, and this was on level one. And they said, Mr. Hunt, can we go to level two, please? And I said, now you've mastered level one, let's get to level two. So what I did from then is I just sat down for the next 10 minutes and watched the learning happen. So I've sped the clip here to double speed. Um, so my kids aren't this fast at pressing the buttons, but they're not that far off. So I just sat back for a little bit, see if they could find out some of the features, see if they could see how they could control LottieBot and what controls and what programmable features it has. And by the end of that 10 minutes, the children were telling me how you can program the bumpers um, because it's got bumper sensors, how if the Lottie Bot goes to the end of the table because of the sensor underneath, it doesn't fall off. So you don't have that worry when you've got these robots roaming around the table. If you're working on a table, that when it gets to the end of the table, it will fall off. It doesn't. And they were very pleased to tell me that, Mr. Hunt, don't worry, these won't break because they won't fall off the edge of the table. And um, they also told me how you can change the LEDs, change the lights and um, how you can make it go different directions and change the length of directions. It can draw shapes, it can draw a square, but it can draw larger squares or smaller squares depending on the variables that you mess with. And what was really interesting is the children found all this out themselves. So then it's back over to me as a teacher to really think how can I use this fantastic resource within our computing curriculum to support our learners. And also not just computing because in a few weeks we are doing Shape and Space within our White Rose Maths curriculum. And if this robot can draw accurate shapes, straight lines, different sizes and has variables, then how can I then use this Lottiebot within the numeracy curriculum to support learning and to show the cross-curricular areas that computing can support. Because of the hands-on nature of LottieBot, what it decided to do is they decided to share this robot with Mark, who's a very hands-on learner. He can, he can really understand and grasp concepts when he gets his hands on things. And this is Marco having a look at LottieBot for the first time. Go, open him up. Oh my God. What do you think? Really good. Get out. Okay, right. It's got like bumper and all sorts. Uh, switch around on the bottom. Where are you? Oh. We got it. I think so. Yep. 
Watch. Here you go. Watch. Just waking up. Rise and say, rise and shine, Lottie Bot. Rise and shine, Lottie Bot. Right, I'm going to get this app so we can control it from here. Honestly, it's well cool, Marco. You're going to absolutely love it. Right, so what this is, Marco, we can control Lottie Bot or Lottie Bot. What do you think? Is it Lottie Bot or Lottie Bot? Lottie Bot. Right, are you sure? Yeah. Okay, so we control Lottie Bot through these blocks here. So, did you know that Lottie Bot... Can draw. Bot, can draw. How do you know? There you go. Where do you think the pen goes? In there. In there. Take the lid off. Take the lid off. Right now, we can make. You have it. Right, push it right in. Now, yeah. how does she know when to draw? You use your iPad. Right. So if I press go now, will it draw anything? No. Why? Because you not you not put one of them on there. Yeah. So, so what I'd like to do. So we need to do a square. So let's go to. Um, let's draw a square. So you see that one there? Uh -huh. Yeah, drag that across and yeah. snap it under there. So see it snapped? Has it snapped? Yeah. Right, so what we are going to do is when we hit go here, yeah, Loti will do what it says. So it says there, draw a square. So it's going to draw do a square. Like do you reckon she will? Yeah. What? Look, Marco, look. Oh my gosh. Is it doing it? What do you think? No, nah, it's not done it. Hang yeah. on. Take them off. Have a look. <gasps> look at that. Perfect square. What? How cool is that? That is sick. It's sick. Oh, is it? T-Bot can do that too. Can they? Yeah. How do you know that? Because I've seen him doing it before. Mm, okay, so what we could do is we can draw shapes, draw lines, and we basically this is coding and computing, you see. Sick. Yeah, super sick. So it's very clever. Um, what do you think? Yeah, it's good. What do you think, TTS? Do you think it's a good one? Yeah. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. There we go. We're just at the beginning of our Lotibot journey and we're going to use Lotibot to enhance the computing curriculum and all areas of the curriculum as much as possible. And if you're interested in a Lotibot for yourself and look at all the other things that Lotibot can do, then just click the link in the description below.